in this section we're going to go over um, some rectus femoris injury cases and normal anatomy. Uh, the first case is a 19 year old man after tearing sensation in the thigh axial fast press T1 weighted image uh, shows a halo of increased signal around the deep tendon of the rectus femoris consistent with rectus femoris injury. Uh, this is called bull's eye sign. This case is a 35 year old woman axial T1 weighted image shows a halo of increased signal uh, surrounding the low signal tendon consistent with fatty atrophy due to remote rectus femoris deep tendon injury. This is a 19 year old man who presented with persistent thigh pain after remote injury. Coronal T1 weighted image shows a longitudinal scar adjacent to the deep tendon and scarring and irregularity of the distal tendon consistent with fibrous scarring after remote rectus femoris injury. This is a 21 year old man with remote injury. Axial T1 weighted image shows thickening and low signal surrounding the left deep tendon of rectus femoris uh, representing fibrous encasement. Compare this with this uh, normal appearing right deep tendon. The uh, findings are consistent with fibrous scarring after remote rectus femoris injury. This is a 12 year old boy with remote injury. Axial fast saturated T1 weighted image after IV gadolinium reveals fluid collection with rim enhancement. Uh, these findings are consistent with pseudocyst formation adjacent to the deep and uh, tendon of rectus femoris after remote rectus femoris injury. Now let's review the normal anatomy. This is the drawing of the rectus femoris muscle. The direct head originates from the anterior inferior iliac spine and the indirect head originates post posteriorly from the acetabulum. And the direct head um, blends with the anterior fascia and the indirect head is buried within the muscle belly. Axial T1 weighted image, normal anatomy, uh, showing origin of the direct head of anterior inferior iliac spine. This is the axial image showing normal anatomy with indirect head originating mm, from the superior acetabulum and joining the direct head to form the cojoint tendon. More distally, axial image shows blending of the and direct head more distally with anterior fascia of the rectus femoris and the indirect head is now intra-substance. This is sagittal T1 weighted image showing direct head, cojoint tendon and the deep tendons. Again a coron coronal image shows orig origin of the direct head of the anterior inferior iliac spine the cojoint tendon and then the deep tendon. Thank you.